what's up welcome back to my channel one way to cat out today i'm sharing five tips that are going to help you prepare if you're interested in becoming an expat you ready to take that plunge and you're about that life pay attention step number one start traveling the world now you don't necessarily need a job offer to start seeing the world and experiencing new cultures, learning new languages, etc. When I was graduating college, one of the goals I had was to get as many stamps on my passport as I could. And had I not done that, I don't think I'd be ready and I don't think I'd be as prepared as I am once I moved over here to Doha, Qatar. Especially if you're working a remote job. I know a lot of you have remote jobs and maybe you don't have responsibilities like kids or wife or husband, etc. If that's you and you can go live abroad for a few months, rent out your place, put it on Airbnb and go live in a, another country for a little bit. Maybe something that's within two, three hours of your current time zone. So you want to go see the world, you want to live abroad, start doing it now. Tip number two, do your homework. Before you move, you want to go research as much as you can, whether that's on LinkedIn, YouTube, your favorite channel, right? Instagram, etc. And I know a lot of people on LinkedIn have found my channel and have spoken to me directly about my experiences as they're either interested or maybe they got a job offer or an interview lined up. You want to understand the culture, the traditions, school for your kids, health care, taxes. All those things are important before you start making the move to becoming an expat. Ask questions, find people that live over there and have the conversation. When you start doing your homework, you're a bit more prepared for your move overseas. Step number three learn the language so if you're moving to a country where your native tongue isn't the one spoken in the country so if you speak english and where you're moving to doesn't start picking up some phrases for me i've learned spanish and portuguese now i'm learning arabic now that i'm in qatar you want to learn the language for a few reasons one it's a respect thing people are way more willing to help you out when they see that you're actually trying to learn that language so i'm going to enroll in a classroom setting that works best for me, so do what works best for you and learn some phrases. Tip number four, finances. Finances are extremely important before you move overseas. You wanna understand the complete compensation package that they offer you, understand if that matches your current salary or if it's higher, understand the tax implications. Also, when you're looking at your package, understand if that includes housing, if it does, how much of that is covered by housing, what's the rent in these different places. Also understand what it's gonna cost you to move if you've got a home, you got to rent out or sell, that becomes part of your decision-making process. Also, when you get to the new country, understand what you can and can't invest in. For example, in Qatar, they don't have a 401k for expats, so you have to take a piece of your money and continue to invest it to make it work for you. Finances are huge. Do your homework on that as well. Very important. Last but not least, step number five, embrace the culture. That's the biggest part. No, everything's not going to be like how it is where you come from. Things are going to be different. The language may be different. Culture, traditions, norms, ways of life, etc. That's the fun part. If you're not open to new experiences, new foods, different ways of life, maybe being an expat isn't for you. And that's okay. This isn't for everybody. Nor am I trying to bring everybody over here. But if you are ready for that, Embracing the culture just makes it all the more fun, especially when your family gets over here and you're able to show them places you go, places you frequent. Make sure that you're ready to take on that new adventure and be open minded about it. So I hope those five tips helped you. If you got questions, comments, please place them in the chat. This isn't just specifically for Qatar where I am, but in general, I think those are going to help you prepare for wherever you're going to go. Again, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and share. Peace.